How did Walk Snail or Fat Shark get their code? You mean HD Zero's code? Walk Snail and Fat Shark uh, partnered with HD Zero, so HD Zero provided the chips, the ASICs, and maybe they even provided assembled boards. I don't know the exact details. And then Walk Snail built goggles around them. Wait, is he talking about for the Walk Snail system or for HD Zero? I don't, I don't, I'm not actually sure. I'm confused. How did they get their code? Who is there? Gotcha. Super Deluxe. I was thinking maybe deluxe. he was talking about the Walk Snails uh, system. And the Walk Snail what? system came from Artisan, which is the ASIC manufacturer that they use. So in case that was the question. Oh. Super Deluxe, what do you, what do you, whose code? Who's their code? Walk Snail. How did Walk Snail get their code? Um... Well, the chip is from Artisan. That's who makes the sort of the chip that does the heavy lifting for the walk snail system. Artisan made the P1 chips for the DJI V2 system. Blunty, did I get all those words in the right order? It's assumed that I don't know that that's correct. I think there's some assumptions there that we don't know for sure. Because P1 is really just a very lead core. That and that's not an artisan is, chip. Is what people think. And artisan, that's not an artisan chip. Oh, see, I knew I was going to get details wrong. Um, regardless, I didn't uh, prep for this one. I, I, it's been a minute since yeah. we talked about. No, I, I it, know. But, I, that's why. Yeah. I, yeah. Um. So, uh, where did Waxdale get their code? Um, it's certainly possible that they developed it from scratch. Artisan not... has. Artisan came. I mean, we know from looking in the Waxdale before they closed it. Because the WTF FPV guys got into it b before they changed the password. Oh, I remember that. And um, from what we know, it looked like the base development environment you get on a kit from Artisan. So, like when Artisan is supplying you with dev kits, mm -hmm. you get it like a basic, a basic setup, and all, a lot of the calls were the same, the password was the same, things like oh, that that's uh, for the base set. So they basically took that base code and then built off of that base kit that they were provided. That's what well, we understand anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. That's exactly what you would do. Right. That's kind of what right. you do. Yeah. You wouldn't reinvent the wheel. You would take the reference sort of the reference environment from the developer of the system on a chip, and then you would continue to develop it. There may be an implication here. Some people wonder whether Waxnail like stole code from DJI. And there certainly are a lot of similarities between the way Waxnail works and the way DJI works. Um, I, 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 it's been a long time since this was fresh on my mind, but I have, if I had to bet, I would bet that they didn't like steal code or copy code. Um, the closest I would speculate, and this is pure speculation, would be that perhaps someone who once upon a time worked for DJI then came and worked for Waxnail. I'm not saying it would be really clear that I'm not accusing anyone of doing that, but if there was like some similarities, maybe that would explain it. I, I just... I don't think they like literally stole code. There's enough differences that it doesn't seem like they would have stolen the code. But uh, they claim, Waxdale claims that the similarities are just because people are familiar with the DJI system, so they develop their system to sort of match it. And maybe that's just laziness. They were just like, yeah, okay, that works. Let's just do what they do. That is, I would say, a very Chinese approach. There's a very, very successful competitor out here and they have these menu options. Yeah, fine. We'll just take those. Seems to work. 